Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little demo. This is Jerry of how to import a file using Banner and then upload it <clears throat> into a population selection. So um, the file upload can also be used for other things, other processes, but we'll just use it for this example now and we can expand on it in the future. So the first step is that we're going to, <clears throat> uh, you'll create a CSV file on your machine whether you use Excel or another tool, you'll create that file and put it anywhere on your computer. Once you've done that, you can open up uh, GLR SLCT. And if you have an existing population selection you wanna reuse, you can use that. And in my case, um, I already have one out here that I've been using, <clears throat> um, but you can use any one that you want. So we just called this one testing JGRPSIM, which is the uh, process that we'll use to upload the, the spreadsheet into the population selection. So <clears throat> name it that, give it that description, and then we will save it. And in my case, there's nothing to save. And then we'll go to the next step. <clears throat> so the next step is to upload that file that we saved on our desktop. So in my case, I just have a couple IDs in there, a couple good ones and a couple bad ones so that we can show what happens for each case. So the file upload utility is GJAJFLU, and I'll have a document a bit, and a Word document that also goes over these steps. Here is, so what you wanna do is whenever you're uploading the file, you have to tell it what banner job you're going to use that file for. So in our case, it's gonna be JGRPSIM, which is the process to import IDs or PIDMs into a population selection. <clears throat> we'll select go. Um, I've already run this prior. Um, so what we'll, we're gonna do is insert a new record. And what we'll do is, so it's gonna tell us you must select, use the select file button. So we're gonna go ahead and click select file in this case, I already have my test CSV file that I'm going to select on my desktop. And it's going to actually tell me that if we have a file out there already with the same name, it may overwrite it on the server. In my case, I don't care. Uh, if I do, I can name it something else. And what we'll do is it's going to save it out there. This is gonna, just gonna keep the same name if we want to change the name, we can change it here or we can change it on our desktop before we upload it. And then we're going to save it and it'll go ahead and say that it was saved successfully. <clears throat> Once we've done that, we can go out of that page and then we can go into the process that does, that does the upload GGR, PSIM. And we'll say go. And I already have some parameters saved in here, but what you'll do is just choose database for the printer. You're gonna put your, your um, population selection information in here, general JF test, false J, those are mine in this case. Um, so the system indicator here That is, oh, that is the, basically tells it if it's a manual or a system pop cell, I believe. So in my case, it's manual. And the import type is going to be ID. You can also do PIDMs. So if you have a list of PIDMs, you can upload those as well. But it, you have to basically choose one or the other. In my case, I just did D numbers or IDs. And then we're gonna tell it where to go to get the file. So when we ran the other process, <clears throat> it gives us this pa file path of where it uploaded the file and that's what we put in there. In my case, I wanna overwrite everything, but if you wanna append, you can change this to a no. We'll just go down into the submission block and we'll save. And then it's gonna give us our login list files. Go ahead and take a look at those. Look at the list file first. And you can see here that this is the pop cell information. It tells you everything that you ran it for. 
it's going to say how many records were in that file. There's no duplicates found. There's two bad IDs found. And there's going to be similar information in the log file. Where it's going to tell you the file, the report name, total records, and the invalid IDs. So what we can do to make sure that that works, we can go back to GLA, SLCT, excuse me. It is not that, it is actually GLA EXTR. <clears throat> so we can, you guys are probably more familiar with this process than I am. Gonna put in all the same information there, click go. And you'll see that it loaded me, my daughter, and my wife into the pop cell here. So that's basically it. I have a documentation. I'm going to uh, save this video out there for everybody to share. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks a lot.